Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. Little known fact, Abraham Lincoln was a very good math student. While studying law, Lincoln frequently saw the word demonstrate. He wondered how a demonstration was different from any other proof. He consulted Webster's dictionary and he read that a demonstration was a certain kind of proof. It meant to prove something beyond any doubt. But what did that mean? Still confused, Lincoln read more dictionaries and more books, but they still didn't have the answer for him. He decided he had to learn what demonstrate meant in order to become a good lawyer. So he paused his situation and went to his father's home to study Euclid's Elements, an ancient Greek textbook about geometry. Lincoln studied until he could demonstrate any of the geometry propositions at sight. Satisfied he knew what the word demonstrate meant, he then resumed his law studies. This story comes from Henry Ketchum's book, The Life of Abraham Lincoln. Wow, he was a very determined student, and he was a very good math student because of this. So in honor of Lincoln, I want to share a problem that he had while he was in school. If four men in five days eat seven pounds of bread, how much will be sufficient for 16 men in 15 days? This comes from a manuscript that's held at Harvard University, and it's dated to about when Lincoln was 16 years old. The problem also demonstrates how mathematical attitudes are very different today. Imagine all the nitpicking comments such a problem would receive if I posted it as one of my puzzles or if it was in a math textbook today. But you know and I know exactly what the problem is about. It's a test of proportions. So with that in mind, can you solve a problem that was part of Abraham Lincoln's math homework. Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So, let's look at Lincoln's calculations. Well, all right, there are a lot of numbers, and there really is no explanation to go with any of the steps. But we do see at the very end the answer of 84 pounds. So he did figure out the correct answer. Now, it's sort of a puzzle to figure out exactly what he did. So I took the time to try and deduce what his steps were. So let me rewrite his notes in modern notation. The first step that I would see in his notes is we have four, five, and 20. So I would guess he took the four men times the five days to equal a total of 20 man days. We then have 16 times 15. So this would be 16 men times 15 days, which ends up equaling 240 man days. And you can see he actually uses the algorithm for multiplication that is still taught in schools today. Now what does he do from here? Well, he takes the 240 man days and he multiplies it by seven and divides it by 20. This will end up giving the total amount of bread that's needed for 240 man days, given that you need seven pounds of bread per 20 man days. So he first does 240 times seven which gets 1680. He then takes 1680 divided by 20, and that gets to the answer of 84 pounds. So there were a few calculations involved, but he did get to the correct answer of 84 pounds, and this is a valid method to approach the problem. However, you can see there is much potential for making a mistake. If he did 240 times seven incorrectly, he would not get the correct answer. So when I solved the problem, I use ratios to simplify the calculation to reduce the chance of making an error. I first compared the number of men that we need to solve for versus the number of men we know. So 16 men divided by four men is four times as many men. 
Similarly, 15 days divided by 5 days is 3 times as many days. So in order to compute the ratio of the band days, we take 16 by 15 divided by the quantity 4 times 5, and this simplifies by these two ratios to be 4 times 3. Therefore, we need 12 times as much bread. So we then take 12 times as much bread times 7 pounds of bread to get to the answer of 84 pounds. So for me, this is a little simpler, but it doesn't matter. Abraham Lincoln was able to solve the problem using his method. So it demonstrates that he was a very good math student and he was able to go through all of these calculations by hand and get to the correct answer. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are linked in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a math topic or puzzle suggestion, you can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com, and you can also catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.